on, snap on, snap on. Yeah, buddy, it's that time. Let's see what's going on. Woo. Love you too, baby. Oh, yeah. Woo, them there's fancy. Loaded up more stuff. <laughs> Do like the uh, foam padded trays here. Not sure how I feel about the blue pry bar set. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Offset, double box and short. I like it. I loaded up this weekend. Dude, you did load up. This whole thing is filled. I can't even get to the back. I know, right? I'm trying to stock up. That's wild. Oh, man. Am I in your way? I feel like I'm in your way. Let me see. Yep. I'll let you. Surf Ninja, jump up there. Go ahead. I'll find this stuff. <laughs> very nice, very nice. What is for free? Anything you want, you just gotta buy a lot of stuff. Well, <laughs> yeah, the more you buy, the more you give them. Yeah, right? They're the ones that they're gonna have. Those are nice. Those are nice. Very nice. What are they calling these things? Flank drive. Just some box and pivots 15 to 20 degrees, 20 percent on angle, 10 degree for clearance. I see 10 degree offset. It's nice. Let's see what's all down in here. Magnetic collapsible tray, some warranty stuff, pivoty pivoty sockets. Test these out for a week. Like them, bring them back. And you need to test out for the week. Yep, yep. Test. Ones with the for the fasteners. Okay, okay. Try them out for a week. Let me know what you think. If you don't like them, or these green ones, or the same uh, thing. Same, same thing. Let me get you a bigger, big green ones. I have so many of them. I'm trying to demo them. Have guys demo them. Yeah. Try them out. All right, all right. Let's give it a ghosty. If it's the same jam, mind if I just trade it? So oh, I like yeah. two greens? Got it. Sweet. We'll try these wait, out. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you, dude. God. No comment. Give them a good dough. No comment on the green stuff. <laughs> Jesus. Well, the green is the one I have the most of. So the ones I'm trying to get rid of, right? That's the ones that everyone's trying to get rid of. You can't turn green into green without the green. Yeah, yeah. Say that three times fast. <laughs> Payment maybe next week. Daddy's a little bit short on cash. Appreciate you, sir. Thanks for the loaners. Sweet. So we got a couple of new flyers to check out here. Says he wants us to all give him a go. He passed out a few to a couple of us. So we give him a go and see what we think. Take him home, check him out, see what we like, don't like, etc. Looks pretty cool, though. Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again. As always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about why buy Snap-on anything. Uh, we were on the Snap-on truck today. He did give us a few products to demo. Uh, these pliers look pretty interesting. Sorry, I have a hair on my mouth. Uh, the pliers look pretty interesting. I didn't find an immediate need to use them today for anything that I was working on. The AC compressor job that I was working on, that didn't work out. Parts didn't show up till late. We did get the cylinder head back for the Toyota, so that was good. We were able to at least torque the bolts down and get that started. Then the compressor showed up, which means tomorrow, probably going to be wrapping that one up, probably have a service call in the morning, some kind of oil change or something like that, I imagine. 
then hopefully get back onto the Toyota. It's been a few weeks since we touched that thing. So now I'm really hoping that I can put it together in a timely manner, right? So it's always difficult when you have projects that you have to sit on the back burner for two, three weeks, four weeks at a time. We've had some that have been there for a year just waiting to figure out what the customer wanted to do with them. By the time we know what they want to do with them, then we start rolling on it and then it takes a process to go through the stuff. So organization is definitely key. Coming back to the snap-on approach though, why buy snap-on anything? Look, I think to some degree, okay, part of it's kind of like a car. Uh, let's think about manufacturers for a minute. Part of it's about durability, part of it's about cost, you know what I mean? But for the most part, it kind of comes down to a brand new car or a very expensive car versus a cheap car versus a used car versus something you bought on the web, right? And I think what it is is like, for the most part, they have a lot of tools. Obviously you can get around and you can still perform your job as a mechanic not having snap-on tools, that's true. There are gonna be other tools that are wear out and break faster than some of the snap-on products. That doesn't mean that snap-on never breaks. I've had a handful of snap-on stuff that has broke and it's just kind of like scratching or denting that brand new car. You're like, ah, right? You get a little bit frazzled about it and next thing you know, you're out. You're like, this was supposed to be the busiest and easiest and now here I am with it being broke and now I gotta borrow my buddy's socket to do the job. So that part kind of sucks. But it is enticing, isn't it? I mean, when you start off with the made in China stuff or you start off with some of the used stuff that you got at Goodwill, you do your job for a certain period of time, by the time you get to a certain level or a certain amount of uh, income, a certain amount of money saved, then next thing you know, you have the money that you need to be able to go up to the next level if that's what you wanna do. Let's face it, a lot of us as mechanics, not everybody starts off with a brand new, most expensive box. It's kind of like one of those wish lists or dream things to say, hey, at one point I had one. I have a lot of old timers that have been on here on my channel that have said, I used to have a Snap-on KRL back in the day. I ended up selling it. Yeah, I didn't get nearly close to what it was that I was paying for it. It was a little bit old, it was a little bit beat. I decided to go with a Husky or a Harbor Freight one or whatever, or I don't have a need for a Snap-on box anymore because I'm not wrenching anymore. I'm you know, a realtor right now, or I, I work as an airline mechanic, or I own my own business, or I sell tools or whatever, and on and on and on, right? But at some point in time, I think a lot of us do end up going on to that tool truck. You do see things that you do like. There are things that are more durable than the cheaper stuff. So you end up going that route. Now, nowadays, obviously, there's a lot of in-between stuff that holds up for a really, really long time and lasts a long time. Some of those things don't. Some of those things you still have problems with. My gear wrench 243-piece uh, socket set, best set I've probably owned, most complete set that I've probably owned, still has problems, right? I have a lot of chrome chipping that takes place. So a lot of my sockets, the chrome's peeling off. I did lose a couple of extensions. I've had one out of that entire socket set break, and it was like an eight millimeter deep. Once it was replaced, I didn't have any issues with it. So yes, an intermediate tool can last you a long time. I think I've had that toolkit now for three years. Don't quote me, you'd have to go back through, but I'm pretty sure We've had that same kit for about three years now. End of the day, get what you can afford. Don't overextend yourself. I've overextended myself, okay? But I didn't overextend myself at the time. That's what I'm trying to get at. Once upon a time ago, when I could actually afford it, when I decided to go away from the cheap to go to the most expensive, I was making six figures a year. That's a big difference. When you're making that much money, yeah, you decide to be a little bit more loose with it. You decide to get some of the things that you wanted, right? Some of the things that you you just wanted to just upgrade, right? You wanted to go from that used beater that got you from A to B into something nice that you're like, yeah, I own good stuff. You know what I mean? Like the other stuff I had, I kept having to warranty it out. After a while, got kind of sick of it. Eventually got myself something new, got myself something a little bit more expensive and it, hopefully it'll last me a long time. And sometimes you fall on your face and you fall on hard times and you gotta get rid of the stuff. That happens too, that's life, okay? Doesn't mean you can't get it back, it just means that that's the nature of the beast. It's like having, a, like I said, a brand new car. Sometimes it's nice. At one point, I could afford a $72,000 Jeep. Then it got to the point where I can only afford a $40,000 van. Now it's to the point where I can't even afford that. So it just it's just the way that it goes sometimes. I'll get back to where I was 
I'm not afraid of things coming and going. It's easy come, easy go, just like I explained it. So this isn't really a complaining video. This is me trying to tell you why buy a snap on anything. Because look, man, if you can afford it, if you've been using those used tools for a long time, if you're making really good money, if you have a good savings, if you decide to treat yourself with some of the money that you worked so hard to save for, I don't see the problem with it. There's a lot of people out there that do see a problem with it. I don't. If you're tired of breaking stuff time and time again, if you want to buy something that has better, not just better quality, but has more pieces maybe, maybe has different capabilities, yeah, why not? Go with it. So try it out, man. Look, it's, it's your money. Don't ever let somebody else tell you what to do with your money, okay? It's your money. You worked for it. You decide what you're going to do with it. You know what I mean? Push, come to shove. It's your choice. Sometimes we win. Sometimes we lose. You know what I mean? Sometimes those things pan out and sometimes they don't. Sometimes we've got to give them up and come back to them later. It's just the way that it goes. That's all I got for tonight's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching my channel. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers and deuces.